Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best places you can grind gold. But before we get started, very quickly, what happened the other day, I uploaded this video over here and it got over 15,000 views in just one day. And I really appreciate all the positive feedback and everything you guys wrote in the comments. I really appreciate it. I hope those tips really helped you out. Just one second over here before we start get started talking about the best places you can grind gold in the game. In the previous video with the 10 tips I gave you for your daily routine that you need to do in the first ascendant, I just quickly introduced the Discord channel of my community and it went from 20 members to almost 100 members in just one day. So if you're looking for a place to find Find new friends if you're looking a discord a small community to join and you need help with killing your hard bosses or you're looking for just people to grind with different materials and stuff like this in the game make sure you join us because we're growing very fast let's talk about gold in general right most of the spots in general uh in this game are not very gold efficient however i'm pretty sure that the developers are you know aware of this and they will be changing this very soon they know that this is one of the bottlenecks and everyone is trying to figure out what are the best places to grind for gold. Well, I actually have a spreadsheet over here prepared for you folks. Um, this is a work in progress spreadsheet that, um, you know, I'm not going to be only sharing with you, um, you know, gold farm info and results uh, and average numbers, but also a place for Kuiper and stuff like this. The spreadsheet will be also in the description below with the average numbers and notes about those runs. I just want to walk you through the different spots over here and I'll talk about them one by one and I'll showcase some gameplay how this looks like. Number one to this date is probably the Valby Run. Valby Run used to be around 10 million per hour before they nerfed it. Um, now it, it nets you bef between 5 and 7 million if you have a decent group and if you do this non-stop and you don't waste too much time in salvaging stuff you just keep on going and run circles um over and over again it is a good method to level up and it is a good method to get some kuiper and gold as well however here in the notes i wrote that it is best with two to four vobbies two would be probably the bare minimum if you want to maintain a high level of gold so this is actually you know one of the requirements for you to have a more positive net growth in your gold over here the other thing over here all the kuiper results are not just pure kuiper results those are also if you dismantle all the duplicates that you're going to be getting here in the in the vobby run over over here obviously vobby will be best in soft descendants uh honorable mentions for this spot is you can also go there with bunnies viesa and freina uh however bunnies also tend to sometimes you know uh, kill the elite by mistake with their aoe so be careful with that but it is one of the best spots still to this day so if you need some quick gold or some quick experience it is one of the go-to places where you can still go and grind it is located in the fortress defense line outpost and yeah so this is still one of the best over here the other one that I want to talk about is Echo Swamp Abandoned Refinery Unit. As mentioned, Echo Swamp, it is over here. It is the Abandoned Refinery Unit. And this place can be done in a group, but also can be done solo. I prefer to run this solo, honestly, uh, because it, I just sometimes like to grind solo. Uh, but if you guys are looking for a group play and you have your friends together, or you joined our Discord and you guys want to grind this together, absolutely go for it. Best in slots for here um, are bunnies. Keep in mind that for this, probably bunny is best in slot. It is pretty useful to have. Uh, you can do that solo and in a group. You will also get decent amount of Kuiper over here. Um, and yeah. One tip that I can give you, if you're running this mission, when you finish the mission, instead of you running to the starting point, you can actually hold F2 or just quick quickly check your mission results. And from there, you can restart the mission that ports you back to the beginning of the mission so you can save a couple of seconds uh, running to the beginning of the mission to restart it um, however for this you will probably need a decent you know pc on a ssd drive for your loading screen to kick in quickly on console this shouldn't be a problem the other one is Kuiper Mine Blockade. This is basically a special operation. One of my favorite methods to actually um, have a group activity and when I like to fresh it up, I actually come here to the special operation terminal and I just start the block Kuiper Mining 
over here um the why this is actually really good is because here you not only get you know decent amount of gold now since they buffed the, those places but you also get decent amount of experience and you have a chance to get different types of amorphous materials guess what well some of them will get you some crystallization catalyst blueprints or even energy activated blueprints those are for normal mob bosses so you get, just go there and clear them in just seconds so this is why i think this is a very good um, option for going after however i do recommend having a pre-made group you can join again our discord look for a group find yourself a party or go with your friends the, the better you have communicated how you guys can spread out and everyone co covers a zone over there the faster you're going to be doing uh, this type of missions the average time for a blockade run is probably between 10 and 11 missions in a public group where there is absolutely you know no communication and everyone is just improvising but if you if you're actually doing this on a you know pre-made group and you guys already spread out and say all right this you i'm gonna cover this in this zone so i don't run them around too much you can nail this down to faster clears and this will obviously net you more gold the other you know honorable mentions from now on those are you know um places that have been popular previously and they're still viable over here as you can see i also put uh statuses viable uh getting nerfed soon or is already nerfed so those will be updated accordingly if new patches kick in so you will know uh, if you have access to the spreadsheet you will see okay this is a, a viable or not so viable spot anymore anticipated ambush this is you know a very quick mission you can run in about 40 to one minute 40 seconds to one minute it would net you about three three and a half million per hour best in slot is bunny um in most cases i believe that bunny is just one of the best grinders and farmers you can do this solo i prefer to do this solo uh and you can quickly spam this mission and why uh, this makes it really good the other one that is very similar to vobby run right now is the kuiper mine mission in cerro land um it is over it is located over here in sterile land this mission over here trigger the first phase of the mission where you have to capture all the different six uh, seven zones and over there you want to stay in the center and you're just doing uh circle runs to melt the mobs and from there you get a bunch of gold um and kuiper as well it is a group farm preferred group farm you can do it solo if you want but the results are not going to be obviously so good um and yeah preferred here is bunny uh vobby vobby bunny freina is good if you have decent uh, upkeep of your poisons and everything viesa is really good as well so this could net you between two and a half or two to three million depending how quick you guys run those um and you know how quickly you guys clear out the mobs consider this is a run in a circle mission where you you know obviously if you run it too much you get dizzy so you know take breaks accordingly another mission with white gauge this mission over here it is still viable it is still running uh, it is more of a kuiper uh, grind um you can net between 200 and 250 kuiper grind uh, this is again also um including the kuiper um dismantling um if uh, the, if you're dismantling uh your additional mods that you're getting from there uh, this would net you between 200 and 250k um i prefer to do this solo you could do it in a group but solo is what i prefer for this spot and you need to keep in mind there is a specific mechanic in this particular spot for you to be able to run this mission you want to actually fail this mission you want to uh, the mobs to go and you know prevent you from capturing the point when you're going there with a bunny and bunny is a prepared um uh, descendant over there if you're going there with the bunny make sure you, that your range of your aoe of your third ability is smaller you don't want to big have big range uh, other, otherwise you will wipe out all the mods and you will fail the mission or at least the method of grinding there um i also put a very you know honorable mention over here i mean this is nowhere as good as you can see as the other spots over here 700k to a, a million per hour it is the bunny cave it is just a purely exp grinding method or void fragments grinding method if you will 
um, but it can also net you a little bit of gold if you're doing it over and over again so it's not absolutely trash it is just uh, just giving you a little bit of gold all right, then with that being said, I mean, you, you have different options where you can grind uh, gold. Obviously, look for the things that matter for you the most. Do you want to stay solo or do you want to do acti group activities? Um, or would you like to combine, you know, a spot that also gives you Kuiper and gold? Or would you like to do a spot that also gives you some kind of amorphous materials? You know, you do have different options, and I'm pretty sure that this list will be continue to grow and will change over time. Um, and I will update, you know, update, I will try to update you guys accordingly with the list and with the latest updates, you know, next patch might be around the corner and they might nerf a couple of spots from here or change them. Or, you know, there's so many missions and undiscovered, you know, possibilities yet. I personally try to, you know, try out different missions every single day to look for an undiscovered gem, right? Um, but it is a, you know, a grindy process it takes a little bit of brainstorming it takes a little bit of testing out uh, we have on our discord channel also a channel which is grinding spot tests if you would like to join there and contrib contribute to those tests i'm more than happy to um you know discuss this there and we can also you know contribute this to the master file and from there we will be able to share this information i, I hope this video was helpful and now you know a little bit a couple of spots where you can grind efficiently gold let me know in the comments below maybe you discovered another very good gold grinding method that i didn't mention in this video let us know i'm more than happy to go and test it out and by the way, I'm also streaming almost daily on Twitch. Come say hi.